I'm gonna be over here. Uh, the mic's over there. I'm just gonna keep this set up. All right. So, right now we're going to have Yager versus <coughs> Komodo. All right. Let me get this all set up. How you doing, Con Man? I'm doing real good. Doing real good. It's good to be here. Having fun out here. It's a new venue. You haven't been here yet. It's a new venue. It's not bad. It's not it, bad. It's to me. It's similar to the old one. Yeah. It, Except it, there's no beer. Yeah. Which is a downer. It is a downer. The but I play better now, so that's good. <laughs> the Geek Easy's right next door, though. Fair enough. <laughs> we still have options. All right, we're in at game one. All right, I am shocked that they are on Dreamland right now. <laughs> I you don't know, Luigi's love uh, Dreamland sometimes. They, they live almost as long as Puff, sometimes longer. Yeah, but I don't think the matchup calls for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to make sense of it all. Go, go. No, no. I'm yes. calling them dumb. <laughs> they let me on the mic. I get to call them dumb. <laughs> okay. So, all right. The 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 Puff Luigi matchup is not one of fun and enjoyment. <laughs> it's a lot of stupid things compiled together with Puff back airing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. That's uh, most matchups with our dear Puff. And we're both Puff mains, or I was formerly a Puff main, so we, we can actually talk about this and make sense of it all. So one thing is Luigi is actually a character that can technically combo Puff, surprisingly. No, it is. It's, it's extremely frustrating because you, can, you can't really do much against the uh, Luigi. So he has, a, he has a much more fun time uh, beating you up than, than Puff. Puff's just a lot of backers, like you said. But the Edge Guardian is pretty free. Yeah, the Edge Guardian's free. The thing about this matchup, and a lot of low tier matchups with Puff, is it comes down to you just playing safely and just sticking to a game plan. When yep. you're going against these kind of characters that not only can combo you, but often right. have better movement than you, you're forced to just play lame to make sure they don't get those combos. Granted, you have the free neutral, and the Edge Guards are free. No, you have a good point. You, you have a good point because. Uh, th there are a lot of matchups where you can throw mix-ups in on a constant basis, and that's ha that's how to play. But this matchup is not one of those matchups. You got to stick to your backers, stick to your spacing. As soon as you try and throw in a mix-up and it's not it's not on point, the Ouija just takes like 60 damage uh, because of all the combos that he's got on you. So it's tough. And he's even got stuff out of grab too, which a lot of characters generally that can combo puff don't have that. It's exactly. like oh, they have to go for up tilt or something. You're not even safe in shield in this matchup, especially when Luigi has such great ground movement. And I'm not out here trying to go for the argument of, hey, yo, Luigi Puff, 60-40 Luigi. It's the other no, way around. No, no. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I'm not about the percentages personally anyway. I think it's more uh, player specific. But. but the point is, Puff has the great tools to dominate the matchup. They're just, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. No, not at all. There are some matchups with Puff that feel great. This is not one of them. So a lot of the time, I feel like Komodo's just going to be aiming for Luigi, a.k.a. Yager, to stay out of his nair range, because that's a great combo starter in this matchup. I, I haven't seen Yager get too many combos. He's got some dare into nair stuff, but he hasn't started with nair on anything. He's actually keeping it pretty close here on Dreamland. Yeah, no, I mean, maybe uh, maybe he, there's something to this. And it's also a comfort level, probably. <laughs> That's for Yager. <laughs> the crouch cancel and the double hit of down smash. It's good stuff, man. It works. You just got to oh. make sure you don't get rested. That was a really good air dodge. He actually has his jump. Oh, this is going to be tough to get back. He's looking for a misfire. Get it. Oh, well, well oh. because he had his jump, he was fine. You know, yeah, he would have um, he would have taken that kill, but he rolled onto the stage, which hurt him. He didn't have enough time to punish. And now the rolls have reversed. Get up from ledge probably would have been the best. Yep, just a simple get up with the invincibility. All right, let's see if he can take this. Moses, keep no, playing no. people. Dash attack is tough. Yeah. If you want to grab ledge in that situation. Sorry, they were just asking me a question. Never be sorry, go go. All right. I hate everyone. <laughs> no apologies. All right, so. Yager, see, the one thing Luigi does have a hard time. If he doesn't kill you with his combos, often he's forced to just hope to hit you with a nair. And when you're on stages like Dreamland, that's not going to kill to like roughly 120 and 130. Yeah, I mean, if the, if the puff is spacing really well, it's, it's tough to get much. And especially if the puff knows how to stay in the air properly. I mean, that's key. 
Luigi's ground game is insane, but if the puff stays in the air properly, then like you said, it, it's up to like a random nair or maybe a, oh, that is, wall of pain is so brutal. Get it again. Can he get back? Yep. That was oh, really yeah, good. Oh yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That was really good. Didn't charge his down B, so he's forced to just take the L there. That's it. All right. No misfires for Yager. I think Yager wants to go FD here because without platforms, it's really hard for Puff to not have to go to the ground as much. That's true. I what about on uh, Pokemon? How really? do you feel about that? I think Pokemon is a decent stage for Luigi, and I know Puffs generally don't want to go there. All right. Oh my he may goodness. have picked Pokemon. Where did they, what did they pick? Why would he switch to Falcon? I'm curious. Well, I've never seen Komodo's Falcon, to be fair. See, so he picked Pokemon, as my theory predicted, and now let's see what he can do with this guy. So That's Falcon gotta... is technically a <laughs> – oh, I haven't changed the uh, items or, or the characters at all. Yager was on Luigi this whole time. Ignore the, 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 <laughs> the big puff that was there this whole time. Jeez. So – Captain Falcon. Neither of us play Captain Falcon. <laughs> no, no. I can. All I know is he just went from the slowest character to the fastest, <laughs> which is very fun. He's got to have a blast doing this. Look at him, and he's 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 destroying him right now. So one thing when you do these kind of big tempo switches is a lot of time uh, opponents can have a hard time matching the pace of the match. No, it's great. Me um, s switching to Falco over the past couple years. Um, every once in a while, I throw that in. They'll pick Dreamland as a counter pick, and I'm like, all right, I'll go Puff, and it's like, what? <laughs> so yeah, it, it helps, because <laughs> it's hard to adapt immediately after game one. Jeez, oh my goodness. I'm just like imagining all the things that like a good Falcon could be doing, and he's just like missing these little <laughs> sequences. Like one, you know he's not a Falcon main when you watch how little he tries to catch you with Nair. I'm not saying he's not Nairing, but a lot of Falcons use Nair as a good tool to catch you sleeping. 100% agree. I mean, Nair is clutch in, oh, I think, pretty much any matchup. I mean, that's just, as a character, not the Nair is so clutch. It catches everything. All right, Komodo, you think you're hot just because you can double wall jump? <laughs> he's got tech. He's got Ooh, tech. Another one. <laughs> Keep another one. For the fans. Let's do one more, baby. Run it back. Komodo, my boy. Let's okay. All right. Yeah, I, I guess we can just Ooh. do that. That's not going to work while the transformation's going. Uh. All right, so something Yager needs to really uh, capitalize on is not on a – he just needs to capitalize on punish right now because since he's no longer having to focus on neutral as much, he is losing neutral here, but, like, Ooh. in the puff matchup, he have more time to think about it. He just needs to make sure his punish is consistent because that's how you're generally going to beat people who swap characters. Right, right. Their yeah, punish Yager's will always be weaker. Exactly. And Yager's a solid player. I think, honestly, I think that makes up of characters threw him off. But if he focuses, he's got this. Komodo's um, given up a lot. And I think Yager, oh my, that was disgusting. That's just, that's I, just not healthy. Man, come on. That was gross, dude. Phantom Nair. That was it, dude. That's, I think, the, I think it's over. I'm calling it. It, it low-key could be over. But we're not going to stop talking. <laughs> we're not going to stop talking. One thing no. I, <laughs> I was like, please don't run for Jesus. All right. Let's see what you can do off of this. But yeah, I just think that when you have these character switches, you really just need to make sure that your punish is shining through. Because with the character switches, a lot of the time you can maintain neutral. Like you have a good understanding of neutral through multiple characters, whether it be through playing against them or playing them in friendlies. But it's often your punish is so much weaker. So it's just important that when, like, these swaps happen that if you can just master your punish, you should be fine. It's it's got to be a formula. You gotta say, okay, he's going Falcon. I got this, 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 and this. I gotta use it. That's it. Down throw me will yeah, actually he end it. it. So Komodo, I, I like it. I like it. He goes from the slowest to fastest character, throws him off, and manages to pull it out. I think if it was a best of five, it might have been a totally different story. I think if he would have taken the game, and I then he, he swapped back to Puff, and then <laughs> maybe it maybe ended it. <laughs> well, go enjoy your match with Komodo. I will. I will do my best. It's been a pleasure commentating. My first time commentating on CFL. 